Hey guys, this is Erica with Sirens Aquatics. I thought we would talk a little more about the axolotl I showed you in my last video. They require a little bit different care as juveniles, but axolotls are pretty easy to keep. But before we get started, take a moment to check out the new merchandise in our Zazzle store. Like this axolotl mug. While they're young, it's pretty common to raise them in a plastic container for a few weeks. This makes it easier to perform water changes on a regular basis, sometimes as much as every day. When they're strong enough, they can be moved to a glass fish tank, complete with a hang-on back or sponge filter, which provides filtration as well as surface agitation. I like to remove all the decorations and plants from the container when I'm working on a water change. Then I catch the axolotl in a separate container to keep him from getting stressed out. This allows me to change all the water in one go without creating too much movement for a weaker axolotl. Then you can quickly dump your water, rinse the container in filtered water, and go on to refill it with aged water. Aged water has sat for 24 to 48 hours minimum, which allows the chemicals to evaporate and means you don't have to use prime or as much prime as you normally would. And I refilled it with about two gallons of aged water. Let it settle out before I begin returning all the decorations and plants my air stone before adding the axolotl back in. Anyone that has owned or kept an axolotl for a short period of time knows that they create a huge mess when they poop. It's not just like a fish where it's a little bit every day. It may only be every few days, but when they go, it is a disaster. So a lot of people keep a turkey baster just for sucking those things out or they'll perform daily water changes. I've had this guy for a little bit over two weeks and he eats really well, but he is a little unbalanced when he swims. Hopefully that's something that will work itself out as he grows. So when you're done, you can just slip them back into the fresh water and you might observe them flipping their gills. This disperses carbon dioxide to oxygenate the water around them. I like to keep plants in all of my fish tanks, so it felt natural to me to add a few to the axolotl container, even if he's a baby. This gives him a place to nap and hide, and he seems to enjoy them. So I've got a java fern in there and an anubius coffee folia off of one of my main plants in my other aquarium. So for now that's all he has, but it seems to be enough to keep him busy. And when it comes to meal time, I like to go between blood worms and some newt pellets. Sometimes he does really well eating them, and other times it might come back up. Other things that they enjoy eating would be shrimp and salmon, but frozen bloodworms seem to be a really good option, one that you can always keep on hand and defrost in the tank water. After you've given them time to eat, you need to ensure you take out the remainder so that it doesn't foul the water. Even into adulthood, you wouldn't want to leave that waste sitting around. So real quick, to keep an axolotl happy as a juvenile, you would just need a plastic container, some water, and a container to age it in, maybe some live plants, a piece of PVC pipe to hide in, a good air stone to create water agitation, and a low light as a bright light might stress them out. Just remember that you don't need a heater either as they're cold water animals. That's all that I have for you in this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the content, 
subscribe to the Sirens Aquatics channel. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.